Hi guys and welcome and today I'm gonna show you how to install Windows 11 on, uns on unsupported uh, CPU or uh, or computer which is uh, x46 46 x64 sorry uh, x64 which is 64 bit uh, 64 bit but it has UFI but there is some problem that uh, it doesn't support secure boot or it doesn't support TPM to version 2 or maybe it doesn't support uh, it has unsupported CPU it can be one of these three reasons or uh, all three so if you have unsupported CPU no secure boot or no TPM usually there will be one of these two I mean unsupported t unsupported CPU or no TPM and in that reason there's a hard it'll be a little hard to make an upgrade but there's a way how you can you can install make a clean install of that Windows 11 first of all you will need ISO file of Windows 11 you will need uh, the, uh, that crack uh, uh, disable TPM 2.0 and secure boot red. This is, this is a crack for that. You will need NT light, what we have here, and we will need also Rafus if you want uh, to make an, a flash drive. So, you will need to make a flash drive, so you will need also Rafus. Mm, okay, I will unpack it here and let's go. First of all, if you want to install on a modern CPU with secure boot, UFI and TPM, there's no problem, you can make an upgrade from an ISO file, or you can make an upgrade from a Windows update, or you can make a clean install from uh, your flash drive. But that's a uh, uh, every everyone of everyone knows how to make a bootable flash drive for UFI, how to make for a uh, legacy BIOS, because uh, we are friendly with Rafus, but we need to make a special ISO file first for them to be able to make the installation of all their CPU, which was tested by me. First of all, we need to unpack this ISO file here, so we will use WinRAR, Windows 11 check extract and we need to wait just for a second then we have a here so we'll go to that folder we can open that folder and to the main director we need to copy this reg file copy Now we need to open NT Lite, which was previously installed on our computer. We need only the free license, we don't need anything more at, the, at this stage. Um, no, we don't need that update. Add directory so we need to find our directory with windows 11 files and we need to find as in the sources select folder so we have install vim file here if there's if you have an iso file of windows 11 with no install vim file you can have two versions, encrypted with install ESD or unencrypted with install Vim. The problem is that if you have ESD, you will be not able to do anything, so you need to download version with uh, this Windows image uh, file, or you need to convert ESD to Vim using um, dedicated software like PowerISO. But that's not the question. We need to double click on Windows 11 Pro and wait until it will be loaded. Because on, in the installation we only need Windows 11 Pro, we don't need any other version. There's also a way how to upgrade from 11 Pro to 11 Pro for workstation, but it's not that 
uh, problem what we are talking about it now we need to unpack windows 11 pro don't choose pro n choose just a standard pro i need to wait just a second it will take a moment At this moment, this is pretty simple. It was the most important just to unpack using WinRAR. And after we have unpacked using WinRAR to copy this RAR file to a folder. Now we are, we are only creating ISO files, so it's pretty simple. As you can see, it has been loaded and we need to go to image, create ISO and delete ISO and we will go to the, our main folder, save, OK and we are just waiting for ISO file to be created. Completed ISO image. Okay, so now we can unload this file. Unload. Okay. And we need to just wait for a few seconds until that file will be unloaded. It takes much less time and much quicker than loading. But we don't want to have a mess on a computer on a temp in the temporary folder, so it's the best choice just to uh, wait until it will be done. Preparing. Wait just a second. And now we can we can close uh, our anti-light software and we have our anti-light ISO file. I will use uh, WinRAR just to check what is inside. And you can see that the size is our rag file. It was really important. Uh, okay, so we can close it. Now we will open our VirtualBox. On the VirtualBox, we are trying. We have a test machine. We need to. So I want to check this ISO file in Windows 11 installation process on a virtual machine to be able to record it and show you but you will install on your computer so at that point you will need to you will open uh, this raffles here you will see your flash drive here you will select this iso anti light uh, iso file and here you will choose is gpt for gpt and here you will see ufi but now we are checking this on our virtual machine. Enable EF, enable EFI, two cores, PAX, and our uh, ISO file just to check it. Now we need to wait just for a second. A device and we are waiting for a boot we have UFI here now a virtual machine and we are waiting until it will be loaded install And we are just waiting. I don't have a T11 Pro. Accept custom. Usually at this step you will see an error message. You will need to press Shift plus F10. Shift plus F10. Yeah. You will need to type rigid it. Red. Edit. Now 
you can do the, you have to do this only if you will see the message that you have as support with CPU or the, this uh, Windows 11 cannot be installed on this computer. You will see an error message. If you see that error message, just press Shift plus F10, type regedit, and here we need to go file import. Uh, here we need to choose um, our CD drive and or that it will be exactly it will be the CD, it will be your first drive if you choose disabled PM open the cheese and values contained have been successfully added to a registry. Okay. Need to close that window of regedit. Need to close CMD. You will need one step back. And now, if you will go next, you will need to go one step back, and you can follow the whole installation as usual. So you will be not asked for anything, and everything will go. So we we'll just install it Windows 11 on any 64 bit, 64-bit processor. So we're just in 64-bit processor. You don't need and UFI, and you can install that way. You don't need anything else. You really don't need Secure Boot. You don't need TPM. You can have unsupported CPU. You can have even i3 processor from a first or second generation. I didn't test it on how to do, and I didn't test it on a. Pentium 4 HD, but I've tested it on uh, Intel Core i3 second and third generation, so it's usually really, really, really uh, simple. You need just you just need any 64-bit processor and any uh, platform with UFI. 64-bit processor with UFI, and you can install it. It's nothing more complicated than usual and now we're just waiting until it will be done this is standard windows installation you can see uh, common windows uh, 11 installer and just we need to wait for a few seconds until it will be done. And it does really, really quickly. Just wait a second. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this that now. EFI. And we are waiting until our system will be booted. We can see that we are in virtual boss or actually VM. Oracle Virtual Machine, Virtual Boss. And we need to wait just for a first, for a first boot up of Windows 11. It takes a while, yeah. Come on, come on, come on.
Yes, we start. Yep, the next we set up our computer. And we should be in Windows 11, just in a second. Just a moment and we will see our welcome screen. Just a moment. And you can see our welcome screen and our Windows 11 is ready on NX64, you know, on NX64 processor, 64 bit processor and UFI and you are ready. Thanks for watching and I hope it was uh, helpful for you to install and that you will be now ready to install Windows 11 on any 64 bit processor even really really old. Tell me on which processor have you installed that so I'm really really interested to know maybe some of you will try to install it on, even on Pentium 4, Pentium 4 HT we will see what is possible now. Thanks for watching and see you guys.